Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel for baking. Now I've got some green and orange M&M's. Guess what it is today? It's St. Patrick's Day today. And we're just going to make it even celebrational by showing you how to make this St. Patrick's Day cookies. So in a small bowl to start off with, you will have a quarter cup of cocoa powder, that's 21 grams, and also One cup of flour, which is, this is self-raising flour, which is 120 grams. And you're going to have um, half a teaspoon of salt. And to that, also, one teaspoon of baking soda, this is baking powder, So, it will be sieved in a sifter Remember that there, there are lumps in the, in the cocoa powder So, if you got lumps in cocoa powder you don't want long in the cookie, so you can scrape it off with a sieve until the, the lumps are disappearing. Once you've sifted the dry ingredients, it, it'll be set aside. Next, we, next thing to do is to add a medium sized bowl and for that you'll cream together one egg and both quarter cup of brown sugar which is 45 grams and three quarter cup of Castor sugar, which is 180 grams. This is a creamy stage of the sugars, sugars and eggs. After you've mixed both the egg and both sugars, then you want to have a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then just stir it with a spoon.
So after you mix the vanilla along with the wet ingredients. So add in the melted chocolate. This is 3 ounces so I weighed 85 grams of it. So this is the melted chocolate that I melted earlier. And to this, add a stick of butter, which is 113 grams, and then mix along with the wet ingredients. So after this, slowly add the dry ingredients. And then fold in until a soft dough cookie forms so this is a St. Patrick's Day recipe and it is celebrated today just be so if you didn't know this already it is St. Patrick's Day today After you gently fold in the dry ingredients, you can be folding in the caramel chips. So I'm reminding you of this, if you don't have caramel chips, fold in some chocolate chips, which is three quarter cups, and also three quarter cups of M&M cookies that I've showed you earlier in this video from today and that's going to remind you of the St. Patrick's celebration for St. Patrick's Day
One chef come by now. Cook chocolate chips and the M and M's. Now you're gonna cover it up with plastic wrap. So then, cover it up first, and then, put this in the fridge for 30 minutes until it is firmed up. So pause the video now until it is set and f Once you put that in the fridge for 30 minutes, remove it from the refrigerator and then line it each tray with baking parchment. So, these are the cookies that will be baked in an oven. So, the cookies will be spread out and separate from other cookies that will be baked in the oven. When, I talk, when I'm talking about spreading them apart, then it will be apart, two inches apart, that it says on the recipe. And I'll put a link in the description below so you know which recipe that I was showing you today. These are the cookies that are inches apart and can be spread out more bigger. Now I've preheated the oven to 300 to 
350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 190 degrees Celsius. You get by this for 10 to 12 minutes until it is bigger and and they're apart enough. So pause the video now so so how the cookies will turn out to be like. These are the cookies that have been done and baked in the oven, just letting it cool down. Now, I have made you these cookies for St. Patrick's Day as a celebration. So, if you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more recipe tutorials from me. So hopefully, and don't forget to so comment down what you what your recipe suggestions are for Easter. Hopefully, bye. Happy St Patrick's Day.